All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Jeremy Beard at Location Corporate Office. Um, joined here with Jack Burns, the mind uh, behind Offer AI uh, CEO. Um, this is exciting, guys. This is something that uh, I had come across what Jack was doing with Offer AI um, with a firm in Texas where I used to live um, a little while back and, and reached out and got to talking with him and really saw this as a unique opportunity for our agents. Um, you know, I'm sure everyone on this call has heard about iBuyer. What is iBuyer? Why do I, you know, should I entertain offers? What are the hidden fees and gotchas? There's a lot to it. Um, and more often than not, um, by the time, like I said, all those fees and other things are levied, um, the offer is, is pretty, is substantially lower than what you'd hoped it might or, or what your seller would hope it would be. Um, so we have never really pushed it. Uh, that is until I saw what Jack was doing with the platform here, whereby we will we can create our entire our own ecosphere, um, if you will, of investors because we have so many of you, uh, so many of our agents have investors being Florida, where we can allow the investors access to a platform, and for any time you have a listing before it goes on the market or at a listing presentation even, you can go on the platform and make mention uh, and, and enter the information. And that instantly gets blasted out to every investor on the platform, including institutional buyers that might be on there. With the idea being that you would get, you know, potentially multiple offers. Um, so you could quickly, within say 24 hours, uh, let that listing, listing uh, or let that seller know what they should expect from an iBuyer or an instant offer. And if nothing else, this is profound in that it gives you bandwidth. Uh, it shows that you have opportunity uh, and availability that other agents might not. Um, obviously, this is a, a pretty unique thing. We're the only ones in Florida that I'm aware of that, that has this type of platform for iBuyer. Right, Jack? Yep, as far as I know. And uh, so I'm thrilled, to, thr I'm thrilled to have Jack here with us today to kind of walk everyone through it. We'll, we'll hold our questions to the end. Feel free to type them in. I've got everyone on mute. And then we'll answer those at the end. Um, or I'll I'll chime in as we go along if it's something uh, pertinent to the that to the media time. Um, so without further ado, I, I want to introduce Jack here and let you turn this over, Jack, and then start walking through everything. And uh, at the end, we should uh, you guys should be well informed of how this works for you and and as a listing agent, you know why this is a fantastic opportunity. Again, uh, if you are able to offer this and things like Curbio with price deferred renovations. Again, you're showing something that most other people can't do. Uh, so uh, you shouldn't be losing a listing, listing uh, opportunity uh, coming armed with some of these unique uh, opportunities that we can, uh, we have the pleasure of affording you here at location. Um, so with that, again, without further ado, Jack, I'll turn it over to you. Okay, great. Thanks, Jeremy. Yeah, uh, you know, I'd, I'd kind of like to go up to about 30,000 feet here and do an overview of what we're talking about. Jerry, you, Jeremy, you mentioned some about the space in general, and I kind of want to uh, carry on with that because I've found that, you know, that term iBuyer is, is understood by maybe 80% <clears throat> of agents. So let's just start from scratch and, and look at the space and what we're dealing with here going in. So I'm going to present here. Now last year, Brad Inman of Inman News made a prediction in December that about 50% of all sales in the major US markets in the United States will have something to do with an iBuyer and that every successful agent and broker will offer an instant offer solution on their own or in partnership with iBuyers. And that's what that Jeremy has uh, done the, the forethinking and getting into the iBuyer space <clears throat> with this platform. Here's another prediction that it's going to continue to be a seller's market through the year. And that makes this even more relevant because it's every, it's all about getting those sellers to start with. So let's, uh, let's look at what we, what we're talking about here with this platform. So location is and offers is, a think of it like a marketplace where agents can post off-market properties into the platform on behalf of their seller 
And then you can, if you have any buyers, you can have them receive those deal alerts, like Jeremy was saying, when a property hits the system that meets that criteria. And this allows you to maintain control of the whole iBuyer conversation. So let's look at the, the couple of different ways that you, you get your sellers through your current relationships with what you, the handshaking, the people knowing, the friends that you, that real estate agents are famous for. And then you have your outreach where you're out trying to find those unknowns where you don't have relationships with those sellers at all. So you have various means to, to reach those. Well, let's look at the iBuyers and what they're doing. Like this, this all started in 2013 with Open Door coming on the scenes and raising $360 million and then started buying houses directly from the seller, putting a little lipstick on them and then selling them directly to the buyer, circumventing agents altogether uh, and making a, a profit in the middle. It opens the door also for other services that they can offer. Then OfferPad came along and then they raised coincidentally 360 million as well. And since then, those guys offer uh, open doors raised about $2.3 billion and they're continuing to, to expand into new markets. And then around 2016, Zillow stuck their toe in the water and wanted to test it out with one market. And then they liked it because they were watching what open door was doing. So what Zillow was doing with Zillow offers is basically going against the grain of the agent, the very agents who they has been their bread and butter this whole time. But no, nothing against Zillow, nothing against Open Door, any of these guys, because we we like them. We might be, you know, pushing deals to all of them. So I don't want to, you know, come across as saying anything bad about any of these guys. But um, in looking at the trajectory of what's happening in the space, Zillow is climbing faster than anybody because in 2018, Zillow ramped it up and and really got aggressive. And now they're on a trajectory to bypass everybody and they're already bypassing everybody. So what this does as agents is it kind of, it's kind of been putting you guys on the back of the, the wagon train where you're trying to play catch up to see if you can participate in this space sort of looking for handouts, almost like, you know, how, how can I work with you and what can you do for me? If I send you these, will you, uh, mother, may I have another kind of, uh, can I have a, a, a referral fee on this? So what we're doing here with this platform is putting you guys in the lead. So you are taking, you have the ability to take charge of the entire iBuyer space, because if you think about it, you have an edge, which is, you look at you are you have fiduciary duty to the seller to look out for their best interest those i buyers do not that gives you a tremendous edge and when you're doing outreach primarily it's going to be listing leads they're not going to be an actual i buyer lead and then what you can do like jeremy was saying we'll have multiple i buyers in here and independent investors and that's something that uh, the big platforms don't have or the big iBuyers don't have. Okay, so let's, let's break this down into two groups here. The first one is the location offers platform of which Jeremy has gotten for you guys to and modified and everything is um, in place for location instant offers and that's the platform, okay? That's where you put the, the properties in and, and the properties come out uh, to the buyers. Then on the other side of that, we have the instant offer iBuyer that you can promote yourself and promote, present yourself as an iBuyer. And I'll tell you more about that later. But for right now, we're gonna do a, a little tour of the user interface for the actual uh, location platform. So let me go over here and get a, so this is where you would start with. If you haven't already, go to locationoffers.com and then you'll land on this page right here and go ahead and click the get started and start your registration. It's a simple registration process. And this actually is a little, little video you can watch here too, just to get an idea uh, more about what we're doing. But I'm gonna go ahead and log in to a user I already have in place so we don't have to go through the registration process. So 
Okay, I'm logging in now as a user. When you when you land on the site, the first place you land is going to be right here. So you're going to want to put your, your logo in, your picture, your identifying information, a little blurb about yourself if you like, and, and then pick your target area as well. Oops, let me get my... Uh, there we go. So you're going to pick your target area where you want to get notified for properties that hit the system in this criteria. So we're going to say uh, in this price range, minimal, this much, and then let's say we want anything 1970 and younger that you want to get notifications for. Now I am, I'm an agent, I'm, I'm registering in the platform for the first time and I'm setting my target area. I'm determining what notifications I want to receive. So if I want to get notifications for anything that lands in Texas, for example, uh, I would put that here. So let's go with Florida. I want anything in Florida. That means that I wouldn't have anything showing for the city. If I want a specific city in Florida or cities within Florida, then I would take out Florida and put in the city. And if I want another area, uh, <clears throat> now I'm setting my target area. If I want to get more specific and just uh, limit it to zip codes for the filter, then you would take these out and then just go with the zip codes. It's up to you how you want to do this. And then I would say, you know, I don't want to see anything that's that heavy of a fixer. I just want the light stuff. If you want everything, then you just click all and you'll see everything. If you don't want notifications at all, then you can just toggle this, this uh, check mark here off and then you won't receive any notifications, which you might want to do if you're just focused on sellers and you don't, don't want to market any properties to buyers. So let's save this. Okay, now my profile is set and I'm on, this is a, an important navigation right over here. This is, your, this is your profile stuff that we just landed on. And this is where you toggle between having your listing agent hat on and your buyer's agent hat on. So let's, it's on buyer's agent hat for now. So let's stick with that for a minute. Here are the available deals that there would be in the system in Florida where I set my target area. And I can see, okay, here's ones that were submitted. These are properties that were submitted by an agent into the platform for an instant offer request. So keep in mind, this, is, this platform is where you as an agent representing your seller can make an instant offer request where you're putting this presentation out there to the investors saying, hey, I've got this property and uh, my client will take this for it. We would like for you to make us an offer of this much. It's almost like an asking price kind of thing. And I'll show you how that works. Uh, so let's go over here uh, in a minute. I'll show you how it works. But for right now, let me, let me continue with this, with this buyer side thing. So this is where I want to invite any, let's say I have five or six investors that I know of, and I want to invite them into the platform. So I am now sending Ted a, a notification and here's what Ted's going to get. Let me show you that. Oops. So Ted is going to get a text message like this that says, Hey, this is my name. Uh, te, uh, uh, Sam, Sam agent. And here's uh, 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 some properties I want to be showing you. Click here to register through me. Now, if, if Ted does not register, then he could hypothetically get 
multiple agents requesting that he uh, register with them so that they can get, so they can be the buyer's agent for Ted. So it, it might behoove you to reach out to Ted if you put him in the platform and say, hey, go ahead and register through me. And, and that way, from henceforth going forward, every time that a deal hits the system that meets Ted's criteria and he responds to it in any way, it's going to ping you, the agent who invited him. It's a very important distinction. Let me repeat that. You invite Ted or you invite an investor into the platform through the buyer contacts thing here under your buyer's agent perspective. And you can then invite them into the platform and they will receive deal alerts when the properties that you specify here hit the system and meets that criteria, then you will be the buyer's agent that he responds to. Because when he responds, he's gonna get a message like this. When a property hits the system, this is what it looks like. And then anytime, anything he responds here, he can say interested or uh, how you doing or anything he says, it's going to ping you, the agent who invited him and he registered through. So that's, that's how you tie yourself to that buyer. We don't have anything to do with it as far as allocating it's all an automated system. So it, in, in hypothetically, that could be like as if it was your contract with him as an exclusive agent for representing that buyer. Okay, let me uh, see. Okay, I've got questions here. I should probably keep an eye on those going forward here to see what we got. Uh, these are not on the MLS yet. Correct. These are non-MLS properties. Right. Thank you for answering that and pocket listings no no would be an mls how do we get around that i'm going to address that nar clear clear cooperation rule in a moment so yes i mean they they can be on mls no they cannot these are for all non non mls properties these are off market deals if you're the, the reason being is as an investor it's it's way more attractive to have access to an off-market property than an on-market property. There's a whole lot of reasons around that. Uh, okay, so now I'm inviting this buyer into the system. Let's save that. Okay, and wait, is this my profile? Yeah, that was my profile, wrong one. This is the, this is the, the invitation. So I can either invite him now or save it and then call him and contact him and then invite him later. But I'm going to go ahead and invite him now. So he's going to get that text message and then he hopefully he'll respond back and, and oh, I didn't set the price range. But he'll be able to go in and change all this information around what he prefers. You can put what you think that that investor prefers and then he'll start getting notifications just without doing anything without registering, he'll start getting notifications. And then he, once he registers, then he can go in and, and make adjustments on that. Okay, that is the buyer's agent side of things. And now let's jump over to the listing agent side. Now this is the listing agent perspective. This menu over here changed slightly. And here is where the magic happens for making an instant offer request. So I'm going to go through here. Now this information that you submit here is only for your eyes. It's not for anyone else. No one else gets access to this. And I'm just going to put a googly gop number in here and see if I find something that looks appealing. <clears throat> Might not be finding that address. Okay, good. Uh, now, all the submissions need pictures. So you can do that by your phone or by web. Let's go through this. But now, here, here's the use case. I'm, I'm talking with a seller, and I have a listing appointment with them this afternoon. 
And I have a feeling that they're going to ask about the instant offer thing because they're, you know, open doors advertising heavily in this area. So I'm going to go uh, packing with this, what I'm about to show you right now. I don't have pictures of the house yet. So let's just skip through that. And this would, this is where these are all required to actually submit this into the platform. But what you can, you can do something without submitting it. And I'll show you what we're doing right now. Okay. This is uh, where you estimate what the condition of the property is. You don't know yet because you haven't even talked with the seller yet. Cause, but this is a, this is kind of a back of the envelope uh, estimation and it helps you with the conversation to, uh, get a comparison view and let's assume that it's a quick sale and that it's owner occupied and this is where you estimate the condition of the property let's say it's a light fixer and here is the numbers now it's giving us an estimated ARV but let's say I I think it's more like, like 320 based on my comparables that I pulled and things adjust based on that. Here is the actual instant offer requested amount that will go out to the collective of investors. And I can adjust that wherever I want to, but keep in mind, if you go up too high with it, it's, it it'll actually even warn you when you're getting too high, it's not gonna get you any investors. So you want to do something realistic and it defaults to what's the recommended. Uh, and it needs to be appealing because it, it, you're not doing your seller any favors by submitting this into the platform at an amount that would be higher than any investor would want to make an offer on. And as me, as a listing agent, I have been taught, let's say I've been talking with this seller and they're looking at another property that they want me to represent them on for buying another property. So we just got to get rid of this property that they're in. So maybe I'll reduce my commission down on that and it's up to you as to whether you want to reduce the buyer's agent commission just keep in mind that the the and this is all again this is all in your control uh the more you have here for the buyer's agent commission the more incentive they have to get a buyer on it so here's the net to seller let's go go next okay here's a comparison view and this shows the seller now i'm, I'm now i'm i'm going to the kitchen table with my seller in the listing appointment and I'm showing them these options because they just brought up that the instant offer possibility as a solution for, for their sales situation. And I'm going to talk with them and say, okay, well, I'm glad you mentioned that. I actually have this I'd like to show you. So, cause I printed this out and I brought this with me to my listing appointment like that and it's got a nice presentation uh, from me to them and here's their options if they sold this is their net if they sold through an investor of their approximate net if they sold to a big i buyer and their approximate net if they sold on the mls and that's why i can say okay uh mr jones are you sure you want to do this instant offer route because you would make more money if you sold on the mls you know however that conversation goes that's all in your control and nine times out of 10, they're going to go this route. And you know what? We don't, it doesn't matter to us, to the platform, to location instant offers, to offer AI, the, 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 the company that's powering this platform, because we don't make anything on this transaction. It's all a flow through. We don't have our hand in that pie at all. And here's where we would then uh, submit to the, to be published or save it for later. We can't quite submit now because it's gonna ask for the pictures. It's got a heavy load on it right now with this Zoom call. So yeah, I have to go in and, and upload these pictures to get it to actually submit. But I can save it for later and it'll show up in my pending. But what I can do also is look at what the flyer view would be. So this is the flyer on that property all this, if I did put pictures in, they would all populate this area right here and push this blue line down here. It does not have the identifying 
information on the address, just a city and state. There's no ident identifying information on the seller or the property here other than generalities and the after repair value and the offer requested amount so that the investor can take a quick look and see, okay, this is a three bed and one bath, 2008. Looks like it's, um, okay, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a, a light fixer and I can see when things were updated and yeah, I might be interested. So I'm going to reach out to the buyer's agent, not you, the listing agent, but whoever buyer's agent took this flyer and shared it and their information is going to show up here. And then I would reach out to the buyer's agent and say, Hey, I'm interested in this property. Great. Let me, let me get in touch with the listing agent that posted this and then we'll see if we can get you in the property. The same way you've always done real estate throughout your career, all offline from this property. So, because what we've done with this platform is, you know, kind of like, kind of like the Craigslist thing. You don't, you don't go through if you're buying or selling a bicycle on Craigslist to the whole transaction. It goes from posting and availability to offline or email communication to, to transfer the goods or service. All right. Now that is uh, let's go back over here. Now, these are my pendings. These are the ones that I have not, not submitted yet. I just made some adjustments on them and haven't put them into the platform yet. These are the ones that I did submit and the ones that are published would be in here. And after seven days, they go into the archived folder of which you can go back and make adjustments and, and resubmit. And then here are my flyers that I've done on the properties. And, and most of these have been tests. So there's not going to be any um, pictures in there. Let's see if I've got one that does have pictures. Oops. I'm um, thinking this one. Yeah. Anyway. There's pictures that would show up here and we can do that. Uh, maybe I'll be, I'll upload some pictures to show you while we're doing uh, Q and A. Um, and yeah, now, let's see, do we have any questions? Let's take the questions here real quick. All right, pocket listings, are, no, 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 no. Meaning they can only be on MLS. There you have it, right, uh, okay. Now, all right, this is the platform what we, that we talked about. <clears throat> this is this, this one that we've been going over right here. This is the location offers platform. Now let me show you what this other uh, service does that we provide that can actually give you the ability to be an iBuyer yourself. So if you go to, uh, let's see, I'm gonna bounce over to another, another brokerages platform for a moment. I wanna show you guys something. And here are their concierge. So these guys <clears throat> are agents who are taking advantage of the, the white label iBuyer customized for them. So what that means is they can then present themselves to potential sellers as an iBuyer with the pitch, hey, I'll make you an instant offer on your house. Come to me, which is basically the same pitch that open door is making that offer pad is making. And that's that outreach that I was telling you about that gives you the ability to go and do outreach like, like these guys. So now you can do that same thing like they're doing. This is loading heavy because of the, the drain on the zoom call. So, uh, let's just go over to, let's just pick one here. That's not the right one. He doesn't have his site pointing there yet. So what, what these guys are doing is they're buying a domain name. So TX charm offers is what uh, Christian bought and he has to go in and get them to point to his to his affiliate page of Offer AI. Now, I know Guy has, this is Guy's.
So this was his domain pointing to his affiliate page with his identifying information on here. And, <clears throat> and anytime a seller lands on this page, then it's going to send him a text message and an email so that he can respond directly to that seller. So let's just do that as an experiment here. So I'm a seller now. I've landed on this page for Guy. And and then I'm submitting and then I'm done. And that's going to send a message to Guy and Guy can then, oh, that's great. Uh, and Guy can then respond, I'm gonna track this, experienced an error on that. Uh, the Guy can then respond and reach out to that seller. and then set an appointment, do the whole dog and pony show that we talked about a minute ago with the platform and, and the options, and you can take it from there. All right. So those are, that's what you can do as well as a, a concierge within your platform and it also it comes with a video too you guys let me show you this so everybody has their own video that they can market with i'm just going to play this real quick We just sold our house through an instant offer. Boy, was it easy. And we did it all by ourselves. Look, here's our check now. So So that is uh, that is in the package. If you guys want to go check out the upgrade thing, this is all this is all um, the options that you can do for for increasing your your outreach. So this is this describes what we've just gone through with the free platform. Everything about that is free uh, for that location has done for you guys, and then. The, there's a white label that does not include a video that includes your identifying information on there on your affiliate page that you can get your domain and have your domain uh, sallyoffers.com or whatever you can find on GoDaddy or wherever and then point them to your affiliate page of our platform here and then you can market yourself as an iBuyer and that's $19 a month. Now with the video package on there that is what this one is and that includes your video and that's for 149 setup and 19 dollars a month but if you want uh i had the, i had a sale going on with the uh the jpar guys that i'll do for you guys too i've taken it off where you can do uh, 299 for a lifetime of uh this white label iBuyer. So you'll have your own video, which I'm not sure if you've um, done any shopping for animated videos, but $299 is a very good price. Or actually it would be $150 for the, the video portion of it. And then uh, uh, and then your, your white label iBuyer page goes with that. So then you can market yourself as an iBuyer. This is another program that we have that we're experimenting with where we do the marketing for you and put you into Google AdWords to go compete with all the big guys. And that's expensive. That's uh, $1,500 a month because it's an ad spend. 
and this would be for Google AdWords. Okay. All right, let's open the floor up for, for some questions. And Oh, oh yeah, okay, so the, one of the questions that you asked was about the, um, the MLS uh, pocket listing no-no. Okay, is everybody still with me? I'm assume so. Yeah, Jack. All right, okay, great. <clears throat> so I'm gonna use the whiteboard here. All right, within the location brokerage. Hey, Jack. Yep. Why don't you switch off your presentation so we just. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. You see it okay now? Okay. Yep. So, within the location brokerage, here is you guys' platform, of which all the agents can participate in the platform. And then when you have your, your seller submitting an, an instant offer request through you, it's going to go out to your buyer. So this is the, the, the buyers that, that you guys bring on that are buying houses. So this is where you invite them that we went through that, that um, process. Okay. So now when a deal hits the system that meets this buyer's criteria, it's going to go him and as you can see the wh where we set our, our target area it's going to go to us too so the persons who wanted to see when a property hits the system now this is all within location everything we're doing here is perfectly fine it falls within the within the NAR uh, clear communication clear cooperation rule okay because that's all inner brokerage like an intranet if you will all right. The tricky part is when it goes outside of brokerage, because once you do that, then the clock starts ticking for the 24 hours that you have to uh, post it on the MLS. So let's say other, another brokerage over here, ABC brokerage has their agents and they have their buyers that they invited in. All right. Well, this same deal that came into the system can be seen by their buyer. But in May, when the when everything gets gets uh, in action with the with the rule and everything needs to be implemented, this what would have been a, a notification to the agents in here who were looking for things in that criteria. We stopped that we cut off that communication. So the agents within that brokerage do not get notifications, but their buyers do. So all the buyers then that were brought in by them can see the notifications. Now, uh, that is one way that we can do this. The other way is on uh, Friday. So we do this as a everything builds up during the week for Friday, and then there, it's a 24-hour uh, a business. Uh, it's a, you have 24 hours of the business day. So if we build everything up in the queue, so this doesn't go out to everybody yet. It stays in the queue, and then on Friday, it goes out to everybody, and then it doesn't matter. And then the flyers could, and you could publicize it through all your social media to all the buyers. And you have Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And then by Monday, by end of day Monday, it needs, that's the 24 hours are up. And it has to go to the MLS. Another way of doing it. So yes, we have been thinking about this, this rule significantly. Uh, so there's three different there's three different ways that this can be addressed. So number one is within location, all of the the deals that come in and the buyers that are that are invited in by you guys 
all stay within this platform and, and nothing and there's nothing that violates the NAR rule with that. Second way is the the deals come in but are not shared with agents and other brokerages, just their buyers. And the other way is we do a Friday push. So that's what we're looking at between now and May. Okay. Um, the question was, is the video, uh, is the same video for every agent that participates? Uh, it's a, it's a modified video with your own custom information on there. So it'd be whatever logo you want, your picture, your identifying information within the video so that you can use that for marketing purposes. Cause it's, you know, video is a very powerful marketing tool. But to confirm it's the same video, just customized. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, a couple more questions. Okay. Uh, there, uh, Tammy was asking, do you, know, do you use the same forms contracts uh, when listing or when an offer is accepted? So when you're dealing with your sellers, you would want to use the, check that box on there. And I think Florida has this in your contracts where uh, you can, you the, the seller requests that it not be posted on the MLS. Do you have that, Jeremy? Uh, to be honest, I'm not quite sure. Okay. Uh, well, I, I believe that's a part of your contract. Yeah. Um, and so then that's what you would do. So that with your, when you post this into the platform here, you would just get that contract in place. Thank you, Steve. Uh, yes. Yeah, so we're getting confirmation that that is in fact the, the case. And you would then get them under a listing, listing contract. And then we post it in the platform. Okay, so if you don't have listing, but I have investors, I can use this for sending them available off-market properties from our brokerage that meets their criteria, correct? Yes, correct. So if you have, let's say you've got 5, 10, 20, 100 investors, then by all means, this is where you can jump into the poll position and be the agent, be the buyer's agent for all those buyers for anything that comes into this platform and those guys want, then you're the point person that they go through for accessing those properties. So the, uh, <clears throat> the cool part about this is the, uh, a couple things. So the ability to market yourself as an iBuyer, one, the platform for staying in control of the whole iBuyer conversation where you can then also bring in another thing, bring in your buyers into the platform. So you have a, a listing, a listing, an off market listing uh, control mechanism to be in the iBuyer space. You have the ability to, if you want to upgrade and do your, your outreach for uh, presenting yourself as an iBuyer, and then you can also bring in your buyers. Can properties under contract be added? The, through the contract holder or does it have to go through the owners? I'm not sure what, how to answer that, Kathy. Um, yeah, anything, keep in mind, anything that you do on the contract basis has nothing to do with us. We, we all this, look at this as the platform by which you, you post and deliver the availability of these properties to multiple cash buyers. Uh, some investors get properties under contract and sell the contract. Okay. You're talking about uh, assignments and wholesaling. Yeah. Um, that's, that's a free, uh, a free reign on that as well. There's no reason why you can't uh, do that and use this platform. Uh, but uh, keep in mind, this is an agent centric platform. Sellers can't access this platform without an agent and buyers can't, receive deal alerts without an agent attached to them. So it's all keeping you guys in the forefront uh, of control. And that's, that's kind of the, I mean, that, that's what, you know, when Jeremy saw this platform for you guys to use, that's the, the forward thinking that realized, okay, this space is, is taking off. There's no, no stopping it and getting on, getting on the, uh, getting a jump on it and participating in it is the way to, to help you guys to uh, capitalize on this whole space like the big iBuyers are. And guess what? You don't have to raise $360 million to do it. 
you can just start using the using the platform. The fir first part, the, the the platform itself is free. You can just start bringing in properties, bring in your investors. You haven't spent a dime on that. And then if you want to, like I said, go get some new sellers to do some outreach to sellers, then that's where you can uh, customize your own site and market it to those guys. So uh, before I move on, do we have any other questions on, on that? Because I got something else I want to talk with you guys about, but I want to make sure we've got everything covered on this. If there's any, uh, any questions. Okay. You got to. While you're reading that, just on the on an IT standpoint, um, I had an agent that signed up and she had mentioned something about the photo. Um, I'd say she, she, she was having difficulties uploading her photo. I went in and did it. Um, it's, it's quite straightforward. Um, but then when I changed the photo, instead of cancel replacing it, it just added that photo. So now I don't know which one's default, et cetera. So just wanted to bring that to your attention. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Um, I'm going to put in a, 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 uh, order request on there. So yeah. And again, uh, something else I want to mention too. Thanks for bringing that up. This is a brand new thing. This has never been done before. So we're building this platform, uh, and it's, we're just launching. So if you guys ever experience any difficulties like that, I would really appreciate uh, you helping me by documenting accurately as, as possible, uh, screenshots and including the URL, if you experience a problem in, in any way like that, and then send it to me. I wanna give my uh, contact information in here. Um, there's my email and I'm totally fine with phone as well. And I hope that's okay with me doing that, Jerry. But yeah, if you guys have any, any problems, please um, feel free to reach out directly for that um, uh, support there. After three days on the platform, we have, we have to publish on the MLS, correct? Well, no. Um, so we have, we have another couple of months to decide how we're going to handle the NAR uh, clear cooperation rule. Uh, for, for right now, um, you, don't, you don't have to worry about that for three days, putting in the platform with your own agents, with the agents and the buyers from within location. So as you bring the buyers in to the platform, and since um, you guys have a, uh, a primary, there's one other brokerage that has a presence in um, Florida, uh, but you guys have the, the primary presence in Florida. So wherever buyers you bring in and whatever sellers you put on the platform uh, are, can stay contained within location. Investor deals are stated. I have seen investor deals where it is stated that the buyer's agent should add his commission. How is commission negotiated on this platform? So on that, uh, I'm going to share my screen again and jump back over to that, that um, part. <clears throat> So in the submission, in the offer submission process, let's go over to listing agent perspective and let's go over to the, um, wait, no, listing agent perspective. Not bouncing over listing agent perspective. A refresh. I wonder if it's my connection here. There we go. Okay. Okay. So uh, on the pending, let's go over here and open one of these up. And let's go to the adjust price. Okay. Here's where on the proposal, this is just in the presentation. This is just for presentation purposes. That's another thing to remember. What this is here is not the stuff that's going to be transferred onto any contract or listing uh, or uh, 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 anything other than what you saw on that um, deal alert that goes out to the buyer. 
All this stuff is so that you can communicate with your seller about this stuff and look at what your, their options are and discuss their options based on what you're setting this criteria to be. So whatever you set it here as, it's just for that communication with the seller. That's it. That's the only, the only influence that that has is between you and your seller. Nobody else, this doesn't affect anything about what the, the buyer's agent's going to do. It's all between you and any negotiation you have um, when, when it goes offline and you start communicating between buyer and seller via listing agent and buyer's agent. And yeah, I hope that answers your question. Let me know if that doesn't answer your question. Okay. All right. So, um, all right. If everybody's okay, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to move on to something else that we're that we're working on right now to provide everybody as a additional service. If but I don't want to confuse anybody. So if we're if there's any confusion or questions, uh, please you know feel free to continue to reach out to me. If not through this chat, through my contact information, uh, and I'm very happy to to help you guys out some more on this. We can do more of these webinars and as, as long as you need to, to become familiar with this platform and how to, how to best util, utilize it to be in the iBuyer space. So, um, okay, let's stop share. All right. <clears throat> All right, I wanna to talk to y'all about something else now. We've been in dealing with the agents that we've been dealing with. There's, we've got a, uh, we just bypassed a thousand users, by the way, in, in our platform uh, this 